The Mediterranean island of Cyprus is one of the cradles of modern civilization, and stories from its ancient culture have been passed down to us. Some stories are the stuff dreams are made of, myths, and are proof that not all landmarks in this series need to be monumental or natural wonders. Iranian-American author Robert Samast is setting out to prove one is true. He believes the lost city of Atlantis lies near Cyprus. Through careful reading of ancient texts and cross-referencing with modern scientific data, he believes he has traced the location of the mythical super city. We believe that Atlantis is off the coast of Cyprus simply because when we lower the sea level of the eastern Mediterranean by about 1,650 meters and recreate the conditions of this area uh, before the flood, what appears is an island that matches Plato's description of Atlantis to an un uncanny degree. It was the Greek philosopher Plato who first wrote of a super civilization that existed in prehistory, an amazing race who when on the verge of conquering Athens, met with catastrophe and sank without trace. While many believe Plato had written a political allegory, the story has since captured the imagination of countless writers and explorers. Many have tried to prove its existence. But Samas insists the Greek Plato was describing a climate and vegetation similar to that of nearby Cyprus when he outlined life in Atlantis. Plato, who was alive around 400 BC, speculated Atlantis was thriving at least 10 millennia earlier and would have enjoyed a climate similar to fertile Cyprus. I mean, the Egyptians said that these people were living to us about 11,000 years ago, and yet the way they're described is an incredibly powerful and yet gentle, loving and altruistic race. The city of Atlantis is said to have been the capital of the island nation. It had a large Acropolis-like structure in its middle and was surrounded by a circular wall. The city was built with temples, palaces, monuments, living quarters and bridges constructed on a mammoth scale. But Samast has competition in claiming he knows the true location of Atlantis. Some believe it was in the Atlantic Sea. And there are many other Mediterranean islands who believe the super race were their ancestors. The Italian island of Santorini is one. And the equally ancient island of Malta, which lies 60 miles south of Sicily, is another. Better known these days as a holiday resort, the Maltese believe their antecedents were part of the action in every myth from Homer's Odyssey to Atlantis. But the search for ancient treasures always involves some pain. Dreams are free, but major projects cost money. Okay, so we're looking for megalithic structures, which means huge cut stone blocks. That's what's been described. Many, and it's not just one target. We're looking for a whole city. Samast hopes to engage the Greek Cypriot salvage ship, Ares which has the equipment and the crew he needs for deep sea searches. They were the crew who filmed the wreck of the Titanic, many miles below the surface of the Atlantic Sea. This robotic submarine can work at the one mile depth where Samast believes Atlantis is located. But the project will cost a small fortune, which at the time of filming, the author didn't have. Without backers, the search will remain a tantalizing dream. Atlantis may yet again elude the clutches of the living. What's next is to verify what is currently a very good theory by uh, conducting an expedition and going to find the remains of Atlantis City. We believe there's quite a bit to be found there. Uh, Plato's description talks about a vast city. 